Hello, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I thought I'd just show you uh, an interesting command that I have rediscovered in Inkscape. Uh, I was wanting to create some concentric circles without having to uh, input the measurements of each circle. For example, you know, 10 centimetre diameter, 9, 8, 7, 6 and so forth. I was looking for a quick way. And I've discovered the interpolate command, or rediscovered it, uh, I should say. So I'll show you how, that I, how I created these objects. I'll just uh, delete them all and we'll start from scratch. First of all the concentric circles. If I click on the ellipses tool, control shift to drag, let's say that's the first circle we want. We might be looking at a, a two-point source interference pattern in physics for example or a target something. Control D to duplicate and then control shift drag out from a corner. We might want a whole lot of concentric circles between these two. So this method is great because you don't have to calculate anything, but you do have to convert them both to paths. So I'll select them both, go path, object to path, otherwise nothing will happen when we call this extension. With them both ex uh, selected, under extensions, modify path, and, sorry, generate from path, and interpolate. Now I haven't seen much of a difference from, with the circles, which method, one or two I use here, one or two does seem to affect uh, shapes, for example morphing circles into squares, but um, you can play around with that. Let's just say we wanted uh, 20 circles in between, so that will give us 22 altogether. If we don't want the uh, duplications of the first and last ones, just the 20 extra in between. Well, if we wanted 20 circles altogether, I'd put eight, 18 in here, for example. And you can do a live preview and apply and close. And that's a very quick way of getting concentric circles. You can select the lot Control G to group it, Control D to duplicate, and then move things along a bit, get some crazy patterns, and you can see almost a nodal line effect. Although in physics, the nodal lines would be along here where the crests and troughs meet, but anyway, Control Z to go back. So that's a great way of doing concentric circles. I'll delete that. But let's say you wanted a whole series of different colours. I'll do some rectangles there. Again, I'll turn it into a path object to path. Let's say we wanted to start with uh, yellow and we wanted to morph that into some other colour. I'll control D and drag across to here. Let's say choose red for that one. Now if I select them both, again under extensions, generate from path and interpolate. I won't do that many steps because I'll overlap in that short space. Let's just say 6 and I'll just do a straight apply and close you can see there's an interesting blend effect. I guess similar to in some ways to I think blend in uh, maybe Illustrator. But uh, I just found that uh, quite interesting. And you've got all these uh, in between. Control U to ungroup them and you can individually play around with them. Anyway, hope that's again of uh, some interest to you and as always thanks for watching.